go be sleeping in Miami. I'm so over these mats. There's a hair bandit on your lens. So it's midnight. We arrive in Miami International Airport, and he's dead. He's <laughs> dead right now. Compared to where we left to Houston, I mean, it's super crowded. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that's about what's going to happen today is we ain't got a place to stay. We got a place to stay. <laughs> We're going to be at the airport for about next ten hours. No, we'll see how far we make it. We gotta get a hotel. We'll get a hotel. We'll get one of them nasty hourly per hour hotels the raunchy ones <laughs> we're in miami everything's expensive around here go on the strip with our luggage it's 1 53 in the morning huh? we're trying to pull it off we, we, we try to we're, we're trying to make it through how the airport looks like right now We're gonna make it through. We will. 2.36. We're trying to see what we can do around here. There's pretty much nothing around here. It's not even 3 o'clock and I have an appointment for the TSA at around 8, so we still got about 6 hours. It's 3.47 in the morning. Still going strong. I haven't <laughs> hit the ground. Ding. <laughs> okay, so it's 4:08, as you can see, and we decided to save ourselves some money and suck it up and be here at the airport. And you'll be surprised how many people are out here. It was a wrong mistake. We're four hours in. We landed at midnight. I don't think we're ever gonna do this again, no matter how long the layover is. If it's six, well, six is manageable, I feel like. But eight hours, get a room. Like, my back is tired of sitting. We drove to get to Houston, and we're sitting in the airplane. Now all we've been doing is sitting. Like, I need to stretch. Being an international airport, I figured there some places are gonna be 24 hours open. But I guess due to COVID, or if it's just normal hours, we didn't do our research really well, and everything's completely closed. So the, for the past, you know, four hours or so we just been just sitting just <laughs> delirious delirious and so delirious. we still got four more hours to go um, so we'll see what we can do here within the next four hours it's 5:36. Sleep at least an hour or two. Heck yeah, that's pretty fun. First experience that oh my gosh, when you bring sunscreen in the sun the second month. Left side, driving the left side. Well, it's
So we did our first day here in the U.S. Virgin Islands. We're in St. Thomas. We are tired after the first day, given that we braved it and did not get a hotel during the layover. But it's beautiful. It's so mountainy. Like, look. Good morning! This is KK reporting from Virgin Islands. We actually just kind of toured yesterday. We were tired given that we did the layover at Miami and didn't sleep. So we called it a night at 8. We decided we're going to hit up some places that require you to hike. Just things to do on a cloudy day. There's Maria doing the driving this morning. It's highly recommended that you get a 4x4. Four four. Get a 4x4. Four four. something that TripAdvisor has put it up hike on. 99 steps. Online, it looked like, oh damn, 99 steps. In person, like, supposedly that's something, but it's closed, of course, COVID. And then like, there's a car right here. And they don't even have it well kept. But whatever, I'll get my 99 steps in. I was tripping. So technically, Karina was talking about this 99 steps uh, here, and we find out that this is not the 99 the steps. This is where GPS keeps leading us. Because this is actually the steps. I thought it was the one in the bottom. <laughs> Obviously. I don't give good instructions if you saw on our Instagram. You're never the driver. Because he starts screaming at me whenever a bad he misses an exit. Once again, no we drive on the left side. No, it ain't that. Or Snapchat, and I don't. I'm really bad at finding landmarks. Apparently, the infamous 99 steps. Go do it in chunklas, Karina style. Wearing like she's about to go swimming here at the Donkey Sanctuary. You got chunklas. You don't say isla. What do you say? girls come up to us and we're like well actually alpha detective pictures you know being generous they're like oh we recognize y'all you're that couple from the airport like we are i mean yeah i guess she's like yeah we're sitting beside y'all i was like oh man man mario we have some familiar faces she said no we recognize you from your voice my <laughs> voice my voice must be pretty annoying for y'all to remember my voice she said no it's not but whatever he girl the girl being nice what are you doing here? Our next adventure has a little bit of a delay because they're doing some construction. It's all good though. Panza llena, corazón contento. So we're here right now at the Cold World Ocean Park. We didn't know about this till yesterday, so we decided to come here, you know, just to look at all these different types of animals that you don't really see. But right now we're about to go see some dolphin shows real quick, so we'll see how that goes out. I will also add, y'all need to watch Sea Spear Sea. Y'all need to watch that. It will change your mind on the animals, especially dolphins.
feels like rocks. Look how beautiful this water. So pristine. All right, we're going undersea. Good morning. Day three, two. We started the morning a little late. However, we're gonna go to Mountaintop. Mario found this place where they serve banana daiquiris and it's like, is it the highest point of the? So they say. The highest point of the island. We're gonna go check it out. Here we are at the highest peak of St. Thomas. Fun fact from my compas que les gusta la peda. You like cruzan? You know it's made here in Virgin Islands. And another thing, home of the world famous banana decorate, which this is where Mario's gonna go. I know I'm not crazy for banana. My, my homie is though. So let him enjoy his banana decorate. Oh wow, so according to the map, basically everything that we're seeing, majority of it, I don't know, well just two are the British Virgin Island. It's so cloudy, you can't see him. That day. Look how beautiful that beach is. So here we are at Megan's Bay. Supposedly, this is one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Like the top, top 10 or so. This sun is literally stinging. But the bright side, look, we found a picnic table underneath the shade. Yes. Right now, you know, as well as we're getting ready, you know, we always take our little scuba gear here, right? This one. Well, fortunately, after many uses of different places, it finally broke on me on here. But look what I did. And as you can see, I ghettoed it because I want to see underwater while we're here at one of the nicest beach. So, I mean, this is the only mask I brought and I'm not going to miss the opportunity. I rigged it up with a black electrical duct tape, found one in an extra spare in my backpack and I rigged it up. So we'll hopefully see if that works. So this is the first official beach that we've been so far in St. Thomas. Karina's excited about it. This is how it goes. So after leaving the Drake seat location, it's time for us to eat. So we're back in the Charlotte Amelie. Or Amala. Or Amala. Excuse my correction. And Karina found this one restaurant called yeah. Amalia Cuisine. So we're going to try that out and see how that goes. freaking freaking excited because Mario didn't want to come in no more and then I kept seeing something just catch my attention under this end but I was scared to pull it out but look this is my first conch I found I never expected to find something like this well literally y'all this is what's sticking out just this under the sand it was like this I love this I'm so happy <laughs> Thank you. 
You know we're from Texas. When I'm wearing jeans. So right now we're here at Brewer Breach. Brewers Bay. Brewers Bay. So right now we're at Brewers. 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 What? So right now we are Brewers. Look. Brewers Bay Beach. Okay. So right now we're at Brewer. What are we doing? Oh, we're talking. Just say something. How you feeling, babe? You getting the taste of these roads? It's going like steep up. <laughs> oh, this ain't nothing, honey boo boo. I ain't even looking at this. This ain't nothing. I ain't even looking down. Okay. The roads here are very interesting since they're very hilly. And then our Jeep rental. You're going to be, 